Now that we continue our inspirational true story series and welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge entrepreneurs Miranda and Jacinta who are on a mission to provide affordable and accessible sanitary items to all women through their buy one give one model dignity good morning guys morning hello it was really lovely to have you here because we've just been having a talk about all things tampons and they're so expensive um yeah. so tell me Miranda what is dignity so Dignity is basically, we're a social enterprise and what we do is we supply um, tampons and pads to businesses, sorry, tampons and pads to give to businesses, so they give it to their staff, but there's also a buy one give one model to give to girls who need it in schools as well. So yeah, we basically use a buy one give one model and um, yeah. yeah. You, you want to make it, because there's been stories in the, in the news about kids, children, young women mm. not going to school because they can't afford sanitary products and so they stay at home. So that's affecting their learning. I mean, what made you want to start the initiative? So I guess both yeah. of us, we were flatmates last year and as students we were in financial hardship and found it really hard to buy them ourselves and we thought if women didn't have to pay for them, who could? And we realised, you know, with new health and safety legislation and wellbeing in the workplace, businesses were in a really great spot to pay for these, like through um, what businesses have done with Eat My Lunch yeah. Um, yeah. and that it was a really sustainable model to help girls in school and to empower women in the workplace. So because there is that business model isn't there for the, the lunches, buy one and then a child gets a lunch. So this is the same thing but with sanitary products. Yeah. It, yeah, it basically, yeah. <laughs> Genius. So in the workplace you've got these these little um these little special containers. Yeah. That's what the products come in, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So we've got a few different types of containers that we yeah. put in the bathrooms filled with products. Okay, I was trying use. to get my head around it. So they're not yeah. this, they're not giving it to the staff to take home. It's no. for them to use while they're at work and things, which yeah. is a great thing, might I say that is a brilliant yeah. thing. Every woman's going, yes, yeah. we like this. This is a very good idea. Um, so the research show that young females need at school age that may not be getting the money to, to buy them themselves. Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Basically, we've been talking to schools because we heard about it in the media too. Mm. Um, and as Jacinta was saying, that's what made us want to to do this basically. So we went and talked to them ourselves and we basically found that there were two issues going on. So there were girls who were definitely missing school and um, a school we were talking to this morning actually was saying how the nurse has to take it upon herself to take girls home to shower who don't, you know, who don't have products. So yeah. like it, it's a real issue and it's, it's really prevalent. But then there's also like periods are also just another huge cost that kind of contributes to the overall psychical issue of poverty as well so like mm. anything that can be done to reduce that is good too. So the business model is the big businesses that you've got on board already they yep. buy the tampons and then you supply the tampons and, and sanitary products to the schools. Yeah so they basically buy two so one for their staff one for their employee. And so where do you yeah. get the tampons from? So we have a partnership with Organic Initiative which we're really excited about you know we did look online and see the cheap items but also we didn't want to sell that we wanted it to be a part of our ethos mm. that they were environmentally friendly so I think that's what's great about Organic Initiative that they are organic um, fair trade as well decompose in five years as opposed to 500 and that was really important to us. That's fantastic isn't it you've got them on board as well yeah. and you've got some pretty big businesses working with you already haven't you can you name some of them? Yeah, so we've got um, got Flick and Zero at the moment. We've also got a few more coming, but we can't say their names this year. Yeah. Really dealing. So when you go to people like Zero and you're saying you should buy these tampons, it's going to help. What, what's their initial? Um, are you dealing with men? Are you dealing with women in the workplace? And what's their initial thoughts and feelings? What do they say to you? So it's been really um, quite varied actually. With Flick, they were so excited from the get go, and um, Nikki, who we've been in contact with there, she was just like, "Yeah, this is." basically what we need like mm. it's it's just like another office consumable yeah um and yeah it's, it's been it's been really really men. great what about the men what, yeah. what's been their reaction well we actually met one of the men today at zero and he yeah. was right in the middle of our photo i think you know we can bring them along this journey as well and share this silent problem that women face in the workplace and at school um, we talk about it all the time yeah. but we are kind of reducing that stigma of periods yeah yeah and let's face it men have got mothers they've got sisters mm -hmm. they've yeah. got wives they know all about yeah. it as well yeah so what are your ambitions for dignity both of you we want this to be standard practice in all businesses, that this is just like providing coffee where some people don't drink caffeine, yeah. um, some businesses provide beer and some people don't drink alcohol. It's just another office consumable. We want this to be the norm. We want this in every business and for all high schools in New Zealand to be supplied with sanitary items and yeah. all women in New Zealand to have access 
It's fantastic. Wow. Well, I'm very impressed with you both, and I hope it goes far because I think it's a really worthwhile thing to do. And I love the whole business model too. They buy them, so they're helping their staff out, and they're helping people out in need as well. Thank you guys for coming in. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate yes. it. Now, for more information on how you can get involved, go to dignitynz.com.